Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about hidden features of iOS 14. Of course the upcoming iOS 14 packs a ton of features. A lot of them are hidden but they're very very useful. So in this video we're going to show you guys 14 features that are hidden and are coming to iOS 14. Now, Apple has been going big with privacy on iOS 14. A very cool new feature allows you to select to which photos an app can have access. So you don't have to allow the app to have access to all the pictures that you have on your library. If you have already done that, then you can go ahead and edit that by going to settings. You go to privacy here and you go to photos. Once you go to photos, you will have a list of all of your apps. You can see right here, it shows you to which pictures that app has access, whether it has to all photos or any photos that you have selected. So you go ahead, go here, and just tap on selected photos, and then it will show you the photos that you have on your camera roll, and you can go ahead and select to which photos that will have access. Now, if you wanna change that, you can basically go ahead and tap on edit photos right there, and you will be able to select any other photos that you want that app to have access to. During the presentation of iOS 14 on WWDC 2020, Apple mentioned shape recognition on iPad OS, but that also works on iOS. So if you take like a screenshot or any other pictures that you're marking up, you can go ahead and use shape recognition. So you can see right here, all I have to do if I want to just like make a circle here, make the circle, hold there, and you can see it will basically recognize the shape and it will make it like a perfect shape. I want to draw an arrow just like this, go ahead, hold there, you can see it goes ahead and recognizes that shape and will basically turn that into like a much, much smoother shape, of course, using shape recognition, which is available on iOS, not just iPadOS 14. A very cool new feature of iOS 14 lets you easily go back on apps. So you go ahead and tap the back button, tap and hold, and it will show you a list from where you can go back from here so you don't have to tap a few times on the back button. Of course, you probably have heard about this, but did you know that it also works on Safari? So when you're browsing, you go ahead and browse a website, you don't have to tap like a ton of times here, just tap and hold here and it will show you a list from where you can go back to different levels on that web page. Now from here, you also will be able to go forward. Just go ahead and tap here the button and you will can do the same go forward on that page as easy as that. With iOS 14, Apple has added also some very useful automations. So you go ahead and create a personal automation, go ahead and just swipe down and you will see right here, low power mode, battery level and charger as well. Now what this lets you do is basically just play around with your device and perform different actions for when you connect your charger to your iPhone. So you want your iPhone to basically like go ahead and charge faster. You can turn on low power mode automatically once you go ahead and plug in the charger. Once you take it out, it will just basically just go ahead and disable low power mode. So that's very, very convenient. Or you can go ahead and set battery levels here. So once your battery reaches any percentage that you set right here with this slider, then it will automatically turn on, for example, low power mode or maybe even airplane mode, anything that you choose. This is a very, very cool feature that Apple has added to iOS 14 with these three new automations. As you probably know, on iMessage on iOS 14, you will be able to mention someone on a conversation. Now this does not only work on a group chat, it will also work like on personal messages right here. But how to do that? So let's say you type a name of one of your contacts. So here if I tap test, which is basically like a test contact that I have on my iPhone, you can see it will highlight that. But if you could just go ahead and tap the space bar, it will just add that text. But if you tap on it while it's highlighted, it will show you the contacts that you have with that name. You go ahead, tap right there. Now it turns blue, which means that now you have mentioned that contact. When you go to the iMessage app on iOS 14, you will see something that looks like this. This is just like iOS 13. But did you know that you can add now filters to your messages? Just go ahead, go to settings and go to the iMessage settings and just go ahead and enable here 
filter unknown senders. Now what this will do is basically add filters to your iMessage app. So right here you can go to all of your message, you can go to the known senders and unknown senders as well. So you will have now new levels here on the iMessage app which will filter the messages that you receive. As you probably know, Apple has added picture in picture to iOS with iOS 14. Now here are a few tricks that you can perform with picture in picture. So you go to settings, you go to general, and you go to picture in picture and make sure you have this button enabled right here. This will start picture in picture automatically once you exit the app where you're playing the video. So here we're playing a video, just exit out of the app and you can see automatically it will go into the picture in picture mode. Also, you can change the size of the screen right here simply by double tapping. So you can see right here, you can of course pinch in and out, but this is way easier. Just double tap like that and you will be able to change the size of the picture in picture screen. You can also just swipe it like this and you can hide it anywhere on the screen. When you're on the video mode on your iPhone on iOS 14, you will be able to change the resolution and the frames per second directly from the camera app. Now this was a feature available only to the newer iPhones with iOS 14, we will be able to do this on older iPhones as well. So you just go ahead and tap right there and you will be able to change right here from HD to 4K in this case and here from 30 to 60 frames per second. 24, 36, you can see as easy as that, you can go ahead and switch directly from here. On iOS 14, you can also filter pictures. So whenever you go to one of your albums, you can go ahead and tap right there and you can tap on filter. Now filters here apply like favorites, edited photos and videos. So if you wanna see just the favorites photo that you have on that album, you can see right here, it shows just the favorited photos. You tap right there again to see the edited photos and favorites, you can basically combine like two filters together or just one if you want to, and then it will show you just those photos that you want to see. So very, very useful and of course, very convenient. With iOS 14, you will be able to also add captions to your photos. So all you have to do is just open one of the photos that you want to add the caption to and just swipe up on that photo and here it will show you a field which allows you to add a caption to that photo. As easy as that, you can add captions to the photos which is really, really useful. Now, of course, you wanna share your photos with someone and if you just go ahead and tap right here and you want to share this, you will basically share that with a caption as well. So if you have like a caption that you don't wanna share with anyone, when you're sharing a picture, all you have to do is just tap on the options right there and disable captions right here. This will allow you to share the picture, but not the caption that you have added to that picture. Now on the notes app, what you can do here is tap right there on the letters to go ahead and show all the different styles that you can different formats that you can apply to your texts. But you can do that faster simply by tapping and holding here. It will show you this list and from here you can go ahead and change anything you want. Now of course, select the text first and then you can just go ahead tap and hold here and you will have like this 3D touch menu that allows you to do that much, much faster. Now, when you want to share something like a picture or anything on your iOS 13 device, you will notice that Siri will show you different contacts as suggestions. Now, a lot of people find that annoying. Luckily, Apple has added the option to disable that on iOS 14. So you go to settings, you go to Siri and search, and you have right here suggestions when sharing, you go ahead, disable this button, and you're good to go. Now with iOS 14, Apple has added App Library. That's a really, really cool feature. You will really enjoy it once you install iOS 14 on your device. But what you can do there is go ahead and go to settings and go to home screen. This is basically where you can configure where you want to install your app. So the new apps, if you don't want to see them on the home screen, so you have like a layout, a setup that you don't want to like mess up with, you just want to have the new apps on the app library, you go ahead and tap right there. Any new app that you install, it will automatically go ahead and just move to app library without ever showing on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 14 and a few hidden features that are very, very useful that are coming to your device with iOS 14 really, really soon. 
Hopefully, we will see iOS 14 getting released to the public this month. I believe that should happen, but just let's wait and see what happens. We are very, very close to a final release. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to be informed with more iOS 14 videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.